Welcome to God's Five Minutes with Pastor Ed Wilson. Reach him at God's Five Minutes at gmail.com. Now, here's Ed Wilson with God's Five Minutes. Hello, friends. David wrote in the 71st Psalm, verse 9, Cast me not off in the time of old age. Forsake me not when my strength faileth. In the 5th century before Christ, Herodotus searched for the fountain of youth. Alexander the Great looked for it, as did Prester John in the time of the early Crusades, and Ponce de Leon is thought to have crossed the Atlantic to search for it in sunny Florida. It's just as elusive today as ever. Try as we will, as the years advance, the wrinkles come, the body shrinks, the eyes fail, and the skin grows thin and unlovely. No one looks forward eagerly to being placed in a care facility and having to wear a bib at dinner and navigate in a wheelchair. And yet the only alternative is death before that end stage of the life of the body arrives. Where is God when we come to this segment of our lives? Thankfully, David provides an answer. He who had found so much hope in God during his abler years was able to pray an answered prayer, cast me not off in the time of my old age. The Annals of the Martyrs contain the story of Polycarp, pastor at Smyrna, when the haughty Roman magistrate ordered him to deny Christ and swear by the emperor, he answered, I have served Christ these eighty and six years, and he hath not once injured me, and how shall I deny him now? The patriarch Jacob, after a long, highly checkered and adventurous life, the final chapter of which was living out near Pharaoh's palace, could testify, God hath fed me all my life long until this day. He hath been kind to me all my days, and I trust he will look to me even in the end. And shall I now turn my back on him? Brother, the God who is willing to be your anchor in youth is just as ready to be your staff in old age. Or as David said in another of his songs, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. David was not tired of his God, and he prayed for God not to be tired of him. For although his outward man lost its natural beauty, and he felt his strength shriveled away, his inward man was renewed day by day. Those changes in our bodies that make them seem unattractive to young people don't look that way to God. He sees the effects of time as marks of a life well lived, if it has been so, and part of the process drawing us to our eternal home with him. It was God who commanded, Thou shalt rise up before the hoary head and honor the face of the old man. The Ancient of Days has decreed those gray hairs to be a crown of glory. Godly old people have most to offer to a society, for they can balance today's challenges against what they have seen of life and learned of how successes have been gained when similar things were met in the past. Young mothers need old women to teach them how to handle fretful children, love their husbands, manage their households, and deal with grief. Young fathers need old men to teach them to work, to spend money wisely, to plan for life and train their children. We should value the counsel of godly older people. It was David's lot as king to fill a place coveted by others from the time he first was anointed by Samuel rather, until he finally came to his deathbed. Twice he was forced to flee into exile from those who should have been first to support him, once from Saul's javelin, once from Absalom's treachery. Hardly seems fair for a man when his body is decayed by age, his mind less agile than in his youth, to still find it absolutely necessary to contend to the utmost of his capacity against the evil devices of others who are in the full glory of their youthful vigor, and that for the highest stakes. But that's what happened to David. Even at the very last of his life, there were those who wanted to steal the throne that he knew belonged to Solomon. Never mind, the God who had seen him through so much enabled him in his dying moments to shift his crown. Today he rests from his labors. May God bless you and I to succeed as well. Have you talked to him today? You have been listening to God's Five Minutes with Pastor Ed Wilson. Reach him by email at G-O-D-S-F-I-V-E minutes at gmail.com. Tune in next time to hear more encouraging thoughts from God's Word on God's Five Minutes with Pastor Ed Wilson.